if you can't qualify, you can't buy, right? I mean, that's the way most people are trained to think about the real estate business. You gotta have good credit, you gotta have good down payment, and if that door is closed to you, then it's forever closed. You'll never buy a property, and that's a lie. I wanna change that thinking in your mind right now, that you can buy property because there are nine sources to fund your properties if the banks don't work for you. Let's talk about that now. You played Monopoly, right? Well, let's play Monopoly with real money. Let's talk about how you can fund your, the game of real estate. And for me, it's a game. And there are players in this game. And every player in the real estate game can be a source of funding for you to help you raise the down payment, maybe help you get some credit, maybe get a long-term financing. So the first source is you, the buyer. You have resources that you have that you could give to the seller to help solve the seller's problem that may not require your cash. Have you ever thought about that? Maybe you've got an expertise as an accountant or an attorney or maybe a professional therapist or maybe even a massage therapist. Whatever resources you have, you can provide as part of the down payment to help the seller solve that seller's problem. So your source number one. Number two is the seller. The seller has a problem because you've researched to find sellers who are what I call highly motivated sellers or don't wanters and therefore you're trying to solve their problem without the use of your cash. So you need to understand their problem. Maybe they want to travel around the world. Maybe you could buy that on your credit card and therefore you don't have to come up with this big down payment. There are ways that you can solve the seller's problem without using a lot of the cash that you thought you would need and therefore the seller is the second source for your funding of a property. Source number three, the realtor. You usually think of a realtor as a person who takes commissions out of the deal, walks away with your cash. Frankly, that's how you fund the down payment. So the bottom line is maybe the realtor be willing to lend you their commission at an interest rate that might be advantageous to them. Maybe they don't need their cash. Well, if they don't need their cash, that means they don't need your cash. That means your down payment can be lower. Not all realtors will do this, but every once in a while, you can use a realtor as a source to fund your property. Source number four, renters. You see, when you buy a property that's already rented, you get to collect their rent the first day you buy that property, but your first mortgage payment isn't due for 30 days later. And therefore, that money is free money to you. You get to use it as part of your down payment. Maybe even their deposit could be used. In some states, they let you do this. You gotta check with your state to see if that's legal in your state. But the bottom line is, I, I bought a 12-unit apartment building with 72 students in it, and all of their rents and all of the deposits came into my bank account, $15,000 that I used as the down payment to buy the apartment building. So, the renters powerful source of funding your property. Source number five is the property itself. Is there money hidden in this property that you could use as a way to create a down payment to buy it in the first place? I had a friend of mine bought a 30 unit apartment building that was furnished. It was, had all kinds of antiques in it. He pulled the antiques out, had them refinished, sold for lots of money, replaced those antiques with cheap furniture, and used the money from the sale of the antiques to buy the 30-unit apartment building in the first place. I bought a single-family home that had a very deep back lot. And I went to the neighbors and I said, would you like to buy this back lot to make your lot bigger? And therefore, I sold the neighbor a $10,000 free and clear back lot. Now, this is a little tricky. I had to refinance it with a smaller lot, and it made that back lot free and clear. And so I could deliver a free and clear property to the neighbor, got the $10,000, put it in the, in the bank as a deposit, as a down payment, and therefore, that was a very complicated way of doing a nothing down deal, but I split off part of the property and sold it to use as the down payment to buy the house in the first place. So there are just all kinds of little tricks like that that you can learn. There are 50 nothing down techniques. These nine sources can consist of some of those 50 techniques. The property, 
it has the source for the down payment for you sometimes. Hard money lenders, what does that really mean? Well, it means it's hard to get the money. And so if you go to a conventional lender, you gotta show your credit, your down payment, all that stuff. If you go to an investor who wants to lend you all the money, they call that a hard money lender. So anytime you have to borrow money, big amounts of money from an investment company or for a mortgage company, for an investor, then it's a hard money lender. Source number seven, investors. People will lend you money if they get a high enough interest rate. Guess who could really lend you the money? The seller. You could say to the seller, I know you have this little small apartment building and you were trying to sell it, but why don't you leave some of your money in the investment and I'll make you a part owner with it. I'll, I'll, I'll borrow the money for you at an interest rate that you would be happy with. And therefore the seller becomes an investor with you. Maybe it's your uncle who has a little bit of money who wants to put the money into your real estate investment. You let the investor earn an interest rate that's more exciting than the money they could earn at a bank. And therefore, they use a collateral of a piece of real estate. So investors, a big, big, big source of money for you. You can use a lot of investors to help you raise the down payment to buy the property. Source number eight, partners. Sometimes you use a partner to solve the problems that you can't fix for yourself. For example, I bought a 12 unit apartment building. I figured out the nothing down technique. I had all the money raised, no money out of my pocket. But guess what I couldn't do? I couldn't refinance the property. It needed a strong uh, partner, somebody who would do all the work for me. And so I gave him 50% of the ownership of that property so he could just sign his name to get the mortgage to buy it in the first place. That property made me $500,000 and all I needed was one signature from a partner. Well, not only can you use a partner for signatures, you use a partner for down payments, you use a partner for, for cash flow, all kinds of ways of using partners. You use partners at first, if you can't afford to buy the property and you have to give away a percentage of the ownership, eventually it's too expensive to have a partner. You want to own 100% all by yourself. But to get you started, partners, excellent source of funding for your real estate. Source number nine, options. It's a technique, it's a strategy where you can say to the seller, Mr. Seller, my down payment is a little light right now, but why don't I lease this property from you with an option to buy it down the road? And therefore, you get in. And as that property increases in value, you can enjoy that increase. That's why options is a very powerful strategy. Sometimes you, you use it as a last resort, but at least it's in your, your, your bank of tools, options. Now, this is a book that teaches you case studies of how people who had no money bought property using these funding sources that I just shared with you. So get this book, it's free, click on the link down below. It'll teach you exactly what you need to do on how to make all of these techniques work for you. Hey, thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, subscribe, and this very next video is called Six Secrets for an Easy Down Payment. Learn more about how you can buy property with little or no money down.